we want to simplify the following fractions. A fraction is in simplest form. A fraction is considered simplified if the numerator and denominator do not contain any common factors. So one method for determining the common factors between 12 and 30, so one way of identifying the common factors between 12 and 30 would be by looking at the prime factorization of each. So let's determine the prime factorization of 12. Be two times six and two times three. So the prime factorization of 12 would be two times two times three. Let's go ahead and do the same for 30. It would be three times 10, two times five. So we have two times three times five for the prime factorization of 30. And now we can identify which prime factors the numerator and denominator have in common. Here we have a two over two, which simplifies to one. And here we have a three over three, which simplifies to one. So whatever's left is the simplified fraction for 12 thirtieths. So 12 thirtieths is equal to two fifths. Now it is true, if you know your multiplication tables really well, and you can look at 12 and 30 and identify the greatest common factor of six, it would be much shorter to divide the numerator by six and the denominator by six to obtain the simplified fraction of two-fifths. But when first learning how to simplify fractions, I prefer the prime factorization method because it makes it very easy to identify all of the common factors and whatever factors remain give us the simplified fraction. Let's go ahead and try a second example. We'll start by determining the prime factorization of 36 and 48. So we'll start with six times six. Each of these would be two times three. So we have two factors of two and two factors of three for 36. It's easier to identify them if you put them in order from least to greatest. And now let's take a look at 48. We have six times eight, two times three, four times two, and two times two. So we have one, two, three, four factors of two and a factor of three for the prime factorization of 48. So two times two times two times two times three. And now let's look for the common factors. We have two over two simplifies to one, two over two simplifies to one, and we also have a three over a three which simplifies to one. So now we can see that 36 48ths simplifies to three fourths. So as the numerator and denominator get much larger, the prime factorization technique is a great method. But again, if you know your multiplication tables really well, and you can look at 36 and 48 and identify 12 as the greatest common factor, it would be much shorter to just divide the numerator and denominator by 12 to obtain the simplified fraction of three-fourths. We want to simplify the following fractions. A fraction is in simplest form if the numerator and denominator do not contain any common factors. Sometimes just by looking at a fraction, it's hard to determine what the common factors would be. So I like to use the prime factorization method, which means we'll determine the prime factorization of the numerator and denominator and then simplify out the common factors. So we'll start by determining the prime factorization of 24 and 108. So we could use four times six. So the prime factorization of 24 would be two times two times two times three. And now we'll do the same for 108. It's even, so let's start with two times 54. Two's prime. How about nine times six? three times three and two times three. So we have two factors of two and three factors of three. And now once we have the prime factorization, it's much easier to identify the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Here we have a two over two, that simplifies to one. Two over two, that simplifies to one. And we also have a three over three, which simplifies to one. So whatever factors remain, 
will give us the simplified fraction for 24 100 eighths. So our numerator we have a factor of two. Our denominator we have three times three, which is equal to nine. 24 100 eighths simplifies to two ninths. Now looking at this fraction in prime factored form, notice the factors that simplified out were two times two times three. So 24 and 108 had a common factor of 12, meaning if we knew our multiplication tables really well, it would have been a little bit faster to divide the numerator and denominator by 12 to obtain the simplified fraction of two ninths, but that does get much more difficult as these numbers get larger and larger. Let's go and take a look at one more example. We want to simplify 75 100 fifths. So again, we'll start by writing out the prime factorization of 75 and 105. And the more you make these prime factorization trees, the faster you get. 75 is equal to three times 25, which is five times five. So we have three times five times five. And for 105, it ends in a five, so how about five times 21? And then 21 is three times seven. So we have a factor of three, a factor of five, and a factor of seven. And now for the fun part, we get to simplify. There's a three over three, that simplifies to one. Five over five simplifies to one. So 75 100 fifths simplifies to five sevenths. Or again, if you're very good with your multiplication tables, and you can recognize that these two have a common factor of 15, we could divide both the numerator and denominator by 15 to obtain the simplified fraction of five sevenths. But again, this gets much more difficult as these numbers get larger and larger, and the prime factorization method stays pretty much the same.